Did Kate ever reconcile with her family? How are Rebecca and Abe adapting to married life? And whatever became of Mama Mary's health issues? Here's what the cast of Breaking Amish has been up to. Sabrina Burkholder had periodic gaps in her involvement with Return to Amish after appearing in both Breaking Amish and Breaking Amish Brave New World. This was due to her struggles with drug addiction, which also landed her in some legal trouble. In 2018, she revealed that she had relapsed and nearly died from a heroin overdose. Burkholder told her followers on social media that despite having been clean for nearly a year, she began using again on her birthday and overdosed. She also revealed that she had been revived by paramedics and would take a break from social media to focus on her recovery. Burkholder has remained committed to her sobriety. In 2023, she even shared that she began using drugs to cope with childhood trauma. Burkholder wrote on Instagram, I was sexually abused as a child, and I had never healed or learned how to cope with being an adult. Drugs made me feel safe, and it was a coping mechanism in order to deal with all the unresolved trauma and pain inside of me. Sabrina Burkholder has put effort into a healthier lifestyle since getting sober. She's been working on different ventures and pursuits as well, with posts on her Instagram feed sharing that she had become a pampered chef consultant. Burkholder is also focusing on being a mother. While dealing with her previous struggles, she lost custody of her eldest daughters, Oakley and Ariana, whom she shared with ex-boyfriend Harry Kreiser III. The girls went on to be adopted by Harry's sister. Since then, she went on to have three more children, a son and two daughters, with her ex-boyfriend Jethro Nolt. The pair's split was reported in 2022, though Burkholder shared on Instagram in March 2023 that she and the kids had not seen him since 2021. She wrote on the social media site, For the sake of our children, I have chosen not to speak publicly about Jethro at this time. I wish him nothing but the very best. In February 2023, she welcomed her sixth child, a son named Arrow Reno. In the same post where she shared that she had not spoken to Jethro, Sabrina revealed that Arrow's father was her new boyfriend, a man she only identified as Scotty. Since finding fame on Breaking Amish, Jeremiah Raber, who was adopted by an Amish family, has kept busy with a number of business ventures. These included an attempt to sell blankets on the first season of Return to Amish, as well as selling Amish donuts in a later season. His most recent venture, according to an Instagram post in February 2023, was a new fragrance brand. The fragrance was tagged as unisex and is called JC Sass. Unlike some of his fellow cast members, Raber remained part of the return to Amish world throughout the show's run. He was most recently featured on the show's seventh season in 2023, and throughout the series documented his search for more information about his background before he was adopted. This has included meeting other family members, and in a May 2023 episode, Raber was finally introduced to his biological grandmother. He just started crying. He became so emotional, and right off the bat, he knew that, that that was his grandmother. Fans of Breaking Amish watched the show's first season as Abe Schmucker and Rebecca Byler seemingly met for the first time and fell in love on camera before marrying. While the truth was later exposed that they actually knew one another beforehand, fans still fell in love with the pair and were eager to watch their journey. While they had their ups and downs, the two built a life and family together. They also handled struggles involving Abe's family members and the questions some of them had about remaining Amish. Still, in 2018, Abe and Rebecca shocked fans when they revealed they were leaving their lives on reality TV behind. In a statement, Rebecca Schmucker said that she and Abe were opting to live a quieter life off camera as they raised their children. Rebecca wrote on Twitter, Announcement! We made the decision to no longer participate in Return to Amish. It's been a long road to come to this decision as a family and to move on to things that make us happy and bring us closer to where we want to be. We are living our best life. Since announcing their departure from the show in 2018, Abe Schmucker has been keeping busy as a working man and supporting his wife and children. The former reality TV star who has stayed off social media has become a long haul truck driver. As a result, he's often on the road for long stretches of time However, this has not affected his marriage to Rebecca. In fact, through social media posts, Rebecca still shares an affection for her husband and appears to be grateful for everything he does to provide for their family. 
She also gushes about him on anniversaries and Father's Day, including their ninth wedding anniversary in 2021. In an Instagram post, Rebecca acknowledged she and Abe had been through tough times together, but that they both knew how lucky they were to get through them. She wrote in the caption, We often talk about how lucky we really are to be living this life together, the good and the bad. We are lucky we have the freedom of choice in everything we do. We are proud of where we come from, but we are so blessed to be where we are today and to do it together. While Abe Schmucker spends time on the road, Rebecca has taken time away from reality TV cameras to focus on raising their daughters. Though she doesn't often post about her kids, when she does, it seems clear that she is happy just being their mom. She also shares updates that show she's still close with her in-laws, especially Mama Mary Schmucker. Of course, while focusing on her children has been a big part of Rebecca's life, she's also taken time to focus on herself and bettering her education. In the same post where she announced that she and Abe were leaving the show in 2018, she also revealed that she had received her GED. It's been a lot of hard work leading up to this. This was a major accomplishment for her, as Amish children only receive an eighth grade education. After joining Breaking Amish, Kate Stoltzfus found her world change in immeasurable ways, as she quickly began to find success as a model. She started appearing in different photo spreads and campaigns and most notably posed for Maxim magazine in 2013. As her profile grew, she faced more strife with her traditional Amish family, which she spoke about during an interview with ABC News. Every time I go home, I can tell that they're disappointed in me. Still, she continued to pursue her passion and started to professionally go by a shortened version of her name, Kate Stoltz, instead of Kate Stoltzfus. Following the Maxim photo shoot, she revealed in interviews that she knew her life was changing in dramatic ways. She also said she didn't have regrets, because while she admired some of the qualities of her strict upbringing, she knew that it wasn't for her. She told Cosmopolitan in 2013, My life changed drastically. My family, job, lifestyle. I'm adjusting well now, and I love the city. I don't practice Amish traditions anymore, but I try to remember the good qualities they have. There are reasons they do things the way they do. It's just that lifestyle isn't for me. Honestly, I wasn't happy. I just knew it wasn't right for me. Though she initially found success as a model, Kate Stoltz has since transitioned her career to the other side of the industry and has now found success as a fashion designer. After studying the art of creating clothes, she went on to found the Kate Stoltz New York fashion line. Today, her website focuses on luxury and made-to-measure women's wear and designs. Stoltz also sells various items from fair trade partnerships and has a line of sweaters and beanies made from regenerated Italian cashmere. In addition to finding her true passion and establishing a successful brand, Stoltz has also managed to mend some of the issues with her family over the years. She's admitted that even though they are still very different from her, her family has come around to seeing her new life and supporting her endeavors. She told In Touch in 2018, My family and I are on much better terms now. I really enjoy going home and seeing them. They're always very welcoming to me, so I'm definitely thankful for their support. Abe Schmucker's mother, Mama Mary Schmucker, became a big part of the cast in later seasons of Breaking Amish. After initially appearing to object to Abe's decision to leave, she also experimented and flirted with parts of the English lifestyle over the seasons. She became a role model for the entire group, especially Jeremiah Raber. But her involvement with the show also led to her being shunned by her community. Mary confirmed her exit from the show in 2022, sharing with fans on Instagram Live that there were a lot of issues that led to her decision. Not long after that, Mary revealed that she had been diagnosed with colon cancer. According to her daughter-in-law, Rebecca Schmucker, Mary's surgery in April 2022 had gone well. However, Mary updated followers in a private Facebook group in June of that year to say that her cancer had actually progressed to stage three, in which case chemotherapy would no longer help. She still interacts with fans on social media and appears to be in better spirits, though she was seemingly still fighting the cancer as of early 2023. In an Instagram Live at that time, Rebecca Schmucker shared an update with fans, indicating that Mary's health was a day-by-day -day thing. If you or anyone you know needs help with addiction issues, help is available. Visit the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration website 
or contact SAMHSA's National Helpline at 1-800-662-HELP. That's 1-800-662-4357.